What's going on, everyone? It's RGB here again. Hope you're having a great day today. So today we're diving into something really unexpected. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you tried to run an emulation test on this very old Android phone from 14 years ago? It sounds crazy, right? This device comes from a time when smartphones were still figuring things out, running one of the very earliest versions of Android. And that got me thinking. I want to see if this thing can even handle an emulation test in this 2026. And, and here the UI feels so nostalgic. Well, you all know about this interface, the holographic theme interface and the control panel. Back in time, this was considered as the dark mode that we most commonly use today. Of course, now Androids these days have a wider range of customization options from various brands. Everything is working fine, like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Let's go to storage. And here I have already mounted the SD card. The available space is less than one gigabyte, but back in time, it was a lot because app sizes used to be smaller. Now let's go to apps. Here it shows all the system apps and installed user apps. Let's go to running services. And here we go. This phone only has 512 MB of RAM. That's even less than one GB. And out of that, we have about 187 MB of free memory. So let's go to developer options. And here I'll set the background process limit to no limit. Currently, this phone is running on the old Android 4.4.2 KitKat version, and it's unsupported now. Google stopped its Play Services support in 2023, which means we can't use Google Apps, Play Store, or other services, except for third-party apps. And now in this video, I'm going to test the PlayStation emulator on this device. Well, you got it. The PPSSPP emulator based on the latest build. Still, the developer is supporting older Android versions, starting from Android 2.3 or above. So here I have already copied all the game ROM files into a separate PSP folder. I'll also extract this file using the archiver. Now let's install the latest version of the PPSSPP emulator. All right, it's installed. Now let's drag and drop it to the home screen. And one more thing, the phone here right now is powered by the old MediaTek MT6572 processor, which only has a dual core CPU with Cortex A7 cores and a very old 32-bit ARM architecture. It has a Mali 400 MP1 GPU, which only supports OpenGL 2. This doesn't even support Vulkan or OpenGL ES 3.1. And this phone has 512 MB of LPDDR2 RAM, which I already showed you in the beginning. Anyway, so let's open the PSP emulator. The interface looks the same as usual. Let's go to settings. In graphics, the back end is selected as OpenGL. The rendering resolution is set to 1x PSP. The display resolution is set to native. Frame skipping is set to one or two, or you can enable auto frame skip. Texture filtering is set to off. Here I'll enable the FPS monitor. I'll leave everything else at default. You can also change the UI theme here. All right, now let's import the ROM files. And let's start with God of War. Also remember we are doing this on a phone which have less than one GB of RAM. So do follow the timestamps mentioned below. And sit back, relax, and enjoy the test.
So overall, even though here the performance is slow with low FPS, still this old Android device is holding up way better than I expected, even on the low RAM. If you enjoyed this crazy test, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel for more, and thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.